Hey, what's up guys? Huge announcement with Dave, the laundromat millionaire men's uh, coming right at you. I just want to give you a quick intro because this video was originally made for his channel. And so he's going to start off talking and uh, man, I just, you've got to watch this. If you are somebody who is looking to buy your first laundromat, you've got to watch this. If you are someone who already owns one or more laundromats, you've got to watch this because this is huge, I think, and it's going to be super valuable for you. So check this video out. Hey guys, Dave Menz here, laundromat millionaire in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today is Saturday, November 21st, 2020, and I'm super excited about the announcement that we have for you. Um, so most of you all know that I'm very passionate about uh, the laundromat industry and helping others to achieve their goals and dreams. Um, in fact, this is why I started Laundromat Millionaire, um, was to teach and help others uh, kind of accelerate uh, their success and hopefully, you know, if I can, hopefully greatly eliminate uh, your mistakes. Uh, so what I'm super excited about that I put a little teaser video about a couple of days ago uh, is partnering with a, uh, a total rock star in the laundromat industry um, with this next little project that we're going to do. And before I tell you who this uh, rock star is, uh, let me tell you a little bit more about what we're wanting to do. So first of all, I'll be the first to tell you that we're both kind of visionaries, if you will. We're both kind of big, big picture vision guys. So we don't claim to have this all figured out as far as the details and what this is going to look like. Uh, it all kind of started with uh, sort of an idea, if you will. Um, and we're just going to kind of, uh, you know, take it and run with it and uh, see what happens. Um, but we both agreed that this was something that we're passionate about. And so we're just going to kind of run with it and see what happens. And so we're hoping you, hoping you all are, you know, going to come along for the ride. Uh, we both share a passion for helping and teaching others. And we both have a passion for elevating the laundromat industry as a whole, um, which is a big part of what we both try to do with our different brands. Um, our industry in the past has always kind of had sort of a negative connotation associated with it. Um, and we're really just hoping to kind of do our part to take the industry to sort of another level, if you will. So ultimately, that's what this is really all about, this little project that we're taking on. So now I want you to introduce you to my partner in crime with this little thing that we're doing. And he's the owner and creator behind the Laundromat Resource Empire. I'm sure you've heard about it. Uh, my friend Jordan currently owns two laundromats in Los Angeles area of California. And he also recently began his new pickup and delivery business as well, which is super awesome. Throughout his, uh, through his Laundromat Resource uh, Empire, he does the uh, Laundromat Resource podcast, which just passed 30 episodes. So congratulations to him for that. And he's off to an amazing start. And he also does laundromat coaching, consulting. He offers marketing services, web design, and is also a real estate investor as well. Um, he brings a ton of knowledge, experience, and perspective into this partnership. But more than anything, I'm super excited to have him because of really his heart and his desire to help others. I'm honored that Jordan Berry has agreed to join me in this little endeavor. And uh, I just want to welcome him to the uh, to the deal here today. So, Jordan, are you there? Hey, how's it going, Dave? How's it going, man? Thanks for joining me. Awesome. Hey, I appreciate you saying all that stuff. I, sure. I, I, I'm I'm super excited about this. I just you yeah. called me uh, a couple of days ago and you said I have this idea, and I said, you know what? If the laundromat millionaire has an idea, I'm going to be in on it. <laughs> and, awesome. But seriously, I I'm super pumped. I cannot wait to to jump in on this. Uh, with you. And I think, I hope, I hope, and I think that it's going to help a lot of people in this industry uh, just find success a lot faster um, than, than otherwise. So I'm really, really excited about it. And just in case anybody doesn't know who you're listening to right now on the other end of this thing, this is Dave, the laundromat millionaire men's and Dave knows his stuff. I just wanted, I just want to let you know what he's offering is incredible right now. I mean, Dave is a bona fide success superstar. I mean, he owns four laundromats right now. He's He's got some things up his sleeve. Uh, also, uh, Queen City laundromats, right? Queen City Laundry. Yep. And in out there in Cincinnati. And he does happiness uh, for his pickup and delivery. He's killing it there. Also, a uh, real estate investor. He's, you know, probably his greatest accomplishment, I would say, is 
being by far in a way the number one downloaded podcast guest from the laundromat resource podcast i mean that's got to be your biggest accomplishment wow i didn't i didn't actually know that that's, a, that's an yeah. incredible honor yeah by by a, a good margin too really? yeah yeah wow, huge that's fantastic thanks yeah and and he's been on you know smaller podcasts like the bigger pockets business <laughs> podcast and yeah. uh, no <laughs> This guy, I mean, he's all throughout the laundromat industry. He's been published all throughout. I mean, the accomplishments run deep and they're well-deserved, not only because he's incredibly knowledgeable about this business and this industry, but you're just such a great guy, man. You just have such a great uh, abundance mindset. You have a great heart uh, that really wants to see other people succeed and knows that other people's success... uh, not only doesn't hinder his success, but he knows that other helping other people find success is actually going to help him, you know, yeah. find success and be fulfilled doing it. So just an all around great guy, super wise. I could keep going, but you know, we want to keep this thing kind of short. So Dave, yeah. I appreciate you thinking of me, man. Sure. Well, as I, as I told you on the phone, man, when I, when I kind of this a sort of idea popped into my head and I started brainstorming a little bit, the first thing I thought was, I, I don't want to do this alone. I want to bring, you know, bring other people into the picture that can bring even more value uh, to the table and different perspectives. And, you know, without a question, without hesitation, the first thing I thought of was uh, the Lawn My Resource guy, the Jordan Bear <laughs> out in California. And I'm, uh, I'm just honored uh, that, you know, that you said yes. And, you know, when it comes to the abundance mindset, um, you know, you, you talk about that a lot on your podcast. I don't talk about it much, but I absolutely am on. Um, on board with you, uh, with the abundance mindset. And I think one of the things that you and I really kind of feed off of each other and uh, both kind of embrace uh, like-mindedness, if you will, um, is just that, you know, for, for me to succeed, it doesn't mean you have to fail. You know, a perfect example for, for the two of us in our partnership here is that we're both, you know, laundromat consultants. So, I mean, a lot of people would look at that scenario and they would say, oh, well, these guys, like, they don't want to help each other. They're, they're competing with each other, right? And I don't look at it that way at all. And I know you don't either, or you wouldn't be here. Uh, so <laughs> we're not threatened by each other. We actually believe that there's one, plenty of business out there for everybody. But we also very much believe that, you know, a rising tide, right? Or what is it What is it they say? A rising tide raises all ships or something like that. Exactly. I probably just butchered that. Uh, but the idea is that if we both focus on other people and we don't focus on each other, that, you know, we're, we're all going to be successful beyond um, our wildest dreams. And uh, so I'm, I'm super excited to have you here. Um, okay, so we talked about each other enough. Here's the details, <laughs> folks. Here's what you really came here for, rather than listen to me jabber. Jordan and I are starting something that's, first of all, completely organic. So we need your help. We need your help getting the word out to the industry of what we're going to try to do. We don't know how big or small this thing is going to become, but it's okay. If we've already talked about it, and if we help 20 people or 200 people or 200,000 people, we're okay with that either way. That's what this is about is helping whoever, whoever we can. So we're going to call it, ask us anything about laundromats and you know, with Jordan Berry and Dave Menz, obviously. So Jordan, why don't you kind of take a second and sort of explain to people a little bit more of what we're looking to do with this? Yeah. Well, okay. So like you mentioned, we both do consulting. Uh, I have a podcast, you know, I have a, a forum on laundromat resource and uh, uh, we're interacting with owners and people in the industry all the time, people who already own laundromats, people who don't yet own them. We get questions all the time. In fact, I just, this morning I was on uh, the laundromat resource forum and uh, Taylor posted on there, Hey, I'm closing on a laundromat in two weeks. What should I be doing the first 30 days uh, awesome. after I close on my laundromat? And I remember that for myself thinking, what do, what do I do now? Like I have these, yeah this bucket of keys. Now, what do I do? <laughs> you know, actually, what and, have I done? <laughs> yeah. So we get questions like this all the time. In fact, you know what, at the end of this, I'm going to, I'm going to put you on the spot and I want to know what okay. you would tell Taylor. Maybe, maybe be thinking of some, some things, some advice and I'll, I'll give some input okay. too. The um, first 30 that, days, first 30 days is what she's wanting. First 30 days. Yeah. So, uh, but anyways, questions like that come up all the time. And, uh, you know, we both do consulting one-on-one and small group consulting, but we just thought that by using technology, we can, we can help 
a lot more people uh, get their questions answered and find some common themes that we see all the time and be able to interact with more of you uh, all at once kind of together. So what we're going to do is we're going to start leveraging some Facebook lives and some YouTube lives um, and and jumping on together with you guys and answering your questions. Uh, Whether you own a laundromat and you're looking to improve your business, whether you own one and you want to expand to more, whether you want to add services into your business. I mean, there's there's a ton of questions. Or if you don't own one yet, you're trying to get into the industry. That's what these are going to be for. And uh, like I said, this is a huge opportunity for you if you have questions to be able to get in front of, especially Dave Menz, who who really knows his stuff. I'm humbled to be a part of this with him. Um, So this is going to be uh, free, uh, our first Facebook live we're going to do on the laundromat millionaire Facebook page. It's going to be free of charge on December 2nd, 2020 and at 4 PM East coast time. Yep. 1 PM best coast time. So if you're over here on the West coast, best coast, one o'clock, right. uh, that's Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020. It's a free Q and a, we're both going to be on it. We're both going to be answering questions. We don't always agree and we don't always have the same perspective on stuff. So you're going to get both of our, uh, our inputs and both of our perspectives. Um, and, uh, as we, we, we plan on doing more of these, um, hopefully on a semi-regular basis. And yeah. we plan on kind of leveraging, uh, both of us have some pretty cool contacts in this industry in uh, a lot of different arenas. So we'll, we'll plan on bringing some of those guys on too, uh, in the future. So you're definitely going to want to be a part of all of this that's going on. Um, and you're, you're not going to want to miss the first one because, you know, there's a special, uh, you know, special pride you get for being you know, a founding member of the ask us anything with laundromats. If you think about it, Jordan, 20 years from now, people that were on the first, I mean, they're going to be able to say I was there. Yeah. Oh man. This is a moment in history. Really? It's like a a tell your, tell your grandkids kind of event (laughs) happening. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe Dave will throw in a, an autographed headshot too. I don't know. Maybe. Hey, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. If you've got a picture of me, free autograph. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you'd have a picture of me, but if you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, again, I'm going to jump back in. You know, we want to invite you all to join us if you can, but we also want to invite you to invite others. <clears throat> it's totally free. We don't have any ulterior motives. We're not here to sell you anything. You know, we will take your questions, live questions in the comments section. You can type them in as this is happening. We're going to set aside roughly 90 minutes. You don't have to stay the whole time. You can jump in at the beginning and cut out early if you need, or jump in in the middle and post your questions. Um, you know, during these events, like I said before, we don't know exactly what this is going to look like moving forward. But ultimately, what it is is two guys that feel like they know the industry pretty well. They have something to offer the the laundromat industry as a whole collectively, and we just want to help you guys. Like it's really that simple. There's there's really no more to it than that. Well, hey. The other thing that that you can do is uh, send us a question early. Um, so if you want to oh, yeah. get us some questions now, uh, man, send us an email um, to either myself or and or to Dave. You can copy both of us. Uh, my email is Jordan at laundromatresource.com, J-O-R-D-A-N at laundromatresource.com. And Dave's email address is Dave at laundromatmillionaire.com. Uh, and, or if you're watching this on YouTube, Hey, leave a comment in the comment section with your question yeah. and we'll, we'll pick those up too. Um, we'll get all of them together and we'll try to pick out some themes for the questions we get beforehand. And we'll try to answer as many as we can, uh, live also. And we're going to have a really great time doing it. Um, we pretty much have a great time whenever yeah. we're hanging out together. So, yeah. uh, we're obviously going to have a great time doing it again, December 2nd. That's a Wednesday, 2020 at, at four o'clock Eastern one o'clock Pacific on the laundromat millionaire Facebook page. We'll put a link to that. If you're on YouTube down in the description down below, how's that sound? Yeah. Sounds awesome. Awesome. Well, Hey, I mean, I think that was the announcement, but I really want to know what advice do you have for Taylor? Yeah. So Taylor, first 30 days in the laundromat industry or laundromat business. So, you know, Jordan mentioned 
Uh, you know, this is this might sound a, a bit paranoid, but I, I've just learned over the years, you know, I for one, I'm going to assume that you have money boxes in your machines and your coin. You may not be, uh, but the odds are that you are. So one of the first things that my mentor in the business 10 years ago, uh, the first thing he told me to do on day one was to change out the money boxes. Um, put all new money boxes in your store with your own keys that you have ordered. Um, if you're, I, I think if I remember right, you're 14 days out. You're probably not too late to go ahead and order those through a distributor now for the machines you have. I would recommend doing that from day one, just from simply a security standpoint. You don't know who has the keys. It's really not about you know the person you're buying it from or their integrity. It may be that somebody else has one of their keys and they don't know. Um, so there's just the security aspect. The last thing you want to do is work hard and run your business and try to grow your business and have people that are kind of helping themselves. And it happens way more often than people would think it was. Um, another, another thing that I think is really important to do is like from a marketing perspective to immediately rebrand, um, in most cases, um, I'm not necessarily saying you have to change your name per se. Um, if the place has, you know, a poor reputation, then you probably do want to change the name color scheme, uh, go kind of big picture from those type of things. If it has a good reputation, you can take advantage of those things, but you can still let people know that there's a new owner. Um, you know, even if it's just a banner in the window or some digital marketing ads or something like that, to let them know that there's a new owner. Because most people know that if the business is in poor condition and poorly run and a new owner comes in, that they're, you know, they're not buying it to not improve the business and to serve the community. But the beauty is people also know that if it is a well-run business and there's a new owner, they know that you have new ideas. They know that you're going to take the things that maybe haven't worked as well in the past for this business, but that they've just continued to do. And that you're going to look for ways to improve the business. So that's another thing that I would really recommend you do. From a big picture perspective, I would just look at it through a very critical lens. Um, yourself personally, which you've already done. Um, another thing that I would do is <clears throat> five any, find anywhere from two to five um, people in your personal network that are not in the laundromat business and take them into the store with you. In the first week you own it, take them into the store with you. And I got a, I got a, I got a super insider tip here, okay? What it is, find your most critical friend. You know, that friend that like, if your hair's out of place, like they don't mean bad things, but it's just how their brain works. They're just, they're overly critical of everybody. That's the kind of people you want to comb through your business with a fine tooth comb. And you have to, and then obviously if you're going to bring these people in and ask them to criticize your business, uh, you've got to take their feedback. You got to, you know, you can't be defensive about it. You got to take that constructive criticism. But take this opportunity to take the business, no matter where it's at when you're purchasing it, and take it to a different level. That's really what I'm getting at. Gold. Hopefully that's a good answer. Oh, that's a great answer. I mean, that is that is pure gold. And I think that's just like a tip of the iceberg where you're going to get on this Q&A. Oh, yeah. um, well, I'm going to in... oh. flip this around before we go. So what would you tell her, Jordan? Ah, uh, nice. Okay. Well, I mean... All, all those things are great. There's there's a ton of things that I think you could be doing. I'll give you two. Um, number one, what I think is probably surprisingly one of the biggest things that you can do is go uh, get a hold of the Google My Business account for that business if they have one and if they don't uh, create one because uh, so much traffic comes to me through Google My Business from the Google Maps app, um, and so it puts you on the map literally. Um, so when somebody goes to the map and says laundromat near me or something like that, um, Hey, it's picking it up from that Google, my business account. So got to do that. And I would say, keep that thing updated, get some fresh new pictures up there. Uh, make sure all the information is correct and current and everything. And just let Google know, Hey, you know, I care about my business and I want you to care about it too, because I want you to send people my way. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing that I would say is get to know your customers over that first 30 days, start meeting yep. some people get to know them, let them see your smiling face and let them know how excited you are to be there and what you have planned for that place. Because when you're excited, they're going to be excited. And when somebody's investing in your community, in a business that you're running, it just makes you more excited to be there. And it makes you more likely to tell other people, Hey, there's this new owner at the laundromat. Here's some of the ideas they have. And, uh, you know, so get to know some people, build yeah. some of those bonds. Yeah. Kissing the babies is what I call it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Kiss those babies. Yeah. I love that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, to quote the infamous Jordan Berry, laundromatresource.com, 
his his steps just now, that's pure gold, folks. That's pure gold. <laughs> pure gold right there. Uh, so Jordan, I can't tell you thank you enough as, as just someone that I'm enjoying getting to know and becoming you know better friends with. I appreciate you saying yes when you could have said no. I know you have enough to do right now. And um, I just appreciate, you know, part of the reason I ask you and I wanted you and no one else uh, is because I know your heart. And I can tell that you have, you know, what I call the heart of a servant. You have someone that enjoys serving others. And, um, you know, I, I'm looking forward to this. We, we don't know, are we going to do this two or three times and that's it? Are we going to do this for the next 20 years? We have no idea. That's also part of why I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this with you is because you'll just like run with me and be like, Dave, you're crazy. Let's go <laughs> and see like how many people we can help. And I, I just love that about you and I appreciate it. So folks, listen, last reminder, December 2nd, 2020, 4 p.m. East Coast time, 1 p.m. Best Coast time, according to Jordan Barry, <laughs> California. So make sure you guys check it out. You'll see some ads on Facebook if you're on Facebook. We're going to drop this on both of our YouTube channels so that hopefully we can reach a bunch of people. And I'm going to stress it over and over again. Share, share, share. Please share this. This isn't about our ego. We don't care if there's 200,000 people or 20 people there. We just want to help people. But we know that if there's 200,000 people there, we're much more likely. It's a numbers game. We're much more likely to help people the more people know about it. Because if they don't know about it and they don't hear about it and they don't show up, then we can't help them. Okay? It's that simple. So listen, Jordan, thanks again for jumping on here with me today. Guys, if there's anything that we can do to help you, I know I speak for Jordan, Jordan Barry at laundromatresource.com. Once again, his email address is jordan at laundromatresource.com. Dave Menz for the Laundromat Millionaire. We are looking forward to helping you guys out. Have a great day. See you guys.